Hey everybody, Christian Grust here, and I just wanted to kind of wrap up the Scorpion, CZ Scorpion K conversion that I recently did. Uh, put out a couple videos on that. So I did get an opportunity to uh, take it out of the range. I put uh, quite a few rounds through it, um, at least a two, three, four hundred rounds actually. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty easy to go and shoot this thing really fast and go through a lot of rounds. So, um, so yeah, so here we are, uh, go ahead and make sure that thing's cleared out. And, uh, so essentially what I did, if you hadn't had a chance to watch my other, my other videos is I went through and did a, uh, a conversion. Uh, they call it a, a K conversion to shorten up the, the length of the, uh, the barrel as well as a handguard. So, um, you know, went through and uh, went with a Midwest Industries uh, K-length handguard and then a barrel from In Lead We Trust, um, you know, with an integrated, uh, let's see if you can see that guy there, the integrated three lug adapter. And uh, the cool thing about this barrel was, well, <laughs> Part of it's cool, part of it's not so cool. Uh, it's actually threaded uh, half by 28. So if I wanna go ahead and in the meantime, put a muzzle brake or something on there, um, I can go ahead and do so. So. Right. So the other thing I ended up having to do uh, when I did the K conversion was the factory hand stop. I couldn't, without putting a rail assembly on here uh, and then having it look kinda awkward, um, I went ahead and purchased the Magpul uh, M-Lock hand stop. So it comes as a modular set and I installed that after the fact. So uh, shooting this thing with the uh, K conversion. Um, so I noticed that it's, you know, I had to go and readjust my sights, um, which that I kind of figured, figured was gonna happen. Um, you know, I put, uh, uh, some rounds on some paper targets as well as some steel targets. Um, I'm going to roll in some of the footage as we go along here, but, um, you know, the sights were off a little bit going from the, the eight inch barrel down to the four inch. Uh, so accuracy was not a problem. Uh, this barrel seems to be very, very accurate. Uh, no, no different than the factory CZ barrel. So that was a good thing. Uh, the other thing I noticed, um, it seems to me that the the CZ Scorpion is a little bit more handier now. Um, I did lose a little bit of weight off the end here uh, by going to the shorter length handguard and barrel. Um, so that was definitely a plus in, in my opinion. Uh, so being able to transition between targets, you know, I'm not swinging quite as much weight around. Uh, you will need the uh, with the shorter length, in my opinion, uh, definitely want a hand stop on there. Uh, very easily could you get your your hand uh, in front of the uh, uh, the muzzle there. So you, you definitely don't want that to happen. So a hand stop, I think, it was a must. Um, let's see. Uh, weight wise, it's it's a little bit lighter weight, uh, so that was good. Um, I think cool factor. So. Uh, I think the Seasoning Scorpion looks pretty dang cool from the get-go. Uh, however, you know, going to the shorter length, um, you know, it, it gives it gives it a little bit different look, especially using the different handguard than the, the factory handguard. And then uh, I really wish I had my suppressor I could put on here. Uh, that would that would definitely make a make a big difference. And if you look at this, so I have the um, the factory folder on here okay and then i have this uh um gearhead works uh brace on the back so this thing folded up is really really short so you can easily stuff this in a backpack or something like that so the compactness is even more enhanced with the shorter uh, end on here so one thing I also had an issue, or one thing that I had a little bit of a problem with is I noticed the uh, muzzle cap 
started to unthread. So uh, I kind of wish, or the thread protector, thread protector rather, I kind of wish it had an O-ring or something on there to keep it from coming off. Um, I guess one could put some, some lighter duty Loctite on there just to kind of keep it on there. But with the heat at the muzzle end, um, I question how well that would work in the long run. So, um, you know, so yeah, so there's that. I kind of, in a way, wish I would have went with just the standard barrel without the the threaded end because honestly once I get the suppressor I'll probably never shoot this thing unsuppressed anyways um, but it's you know it was an option that was there and it was only a couple dollars more so um, I went ahead and went with that all right as far as ammo I shot through the uh, CZ Scorpion I was using the Winchester Forge steel case stuff uh, some pretty pretty cheap ammo um, the one thing about the CZ Scorpion that I've always uh, been impressed with is the fact that it's not doesn't seem to be ammo sensitive, at least at least in my my example. I, and I've not really heard of anybody else having ammo sensitive uh, CZ Scorpion. So it ate everything I threw through it without any um, uh, issues. Uh, you know, I got the the Scorpion pretty hot. I mean, I read ran quite a few rapid fire. Uh, strings through there so I'm using the uh, mags from uh, Manicore Arms uh, these I got from a uh, proper gun shop uh, quite a while back and then I ha also have some of the factory 20 round mags so uh, that's one thing I kind of wish Magpul would hurry up and get their mags out I I'd really like to try some of those and then um, Palmetto State Armory has their um, CZ Scorpion mags or for their 9mm AK. So I haven't grabbed some of those. Those are really cheap. I hear they work pretty good as well. So, um, anyways, uh, I think that's just about it with this guy. Um, yeah, uh, really happy with it. Uh, hope to, you know, shoot this thing, you know, for many, many years to come. Uh, can't wait till I get my suppressor. It's a rugged Obsidian 9. Uh, that's going to make this thing so much nicer. Um, not that it's already, you know, pretty nice anyways, but, uh, but yeah. So, uh, if you're on the fence, uh, as far as you, either you have a CZ Scorpion or you're looking to get one, um, I definitely recommend the pistol version, um, because you can put a brace on there, either folding or sliding. K conversion, they have the micro K out and it has a sliding brace on it. If you don't already have a CZ Scorpion and you're looking to get one, the Micro K would be my recommendation if you want the shorter length. However, they're they're a bit more expensive. So for me, uh, when I bought this one, you know, I got it as cheap as I could and then I kind of modified things as I went along. So I'm one that likes to tinker and modify, so that was the route I went. Um, if you're somebody that just wants to buy it and be done, get the the micro k uh, i think that would be the way to go um the the one my one complaint about the micro k is that they're using the hb industries handguard which does not have a forward uh qd attachment built into the handguard so um, that's why i went with the midwest industries um you know my longer version i i had was also midwest Industries. so but yeah, highly recommend the CZ Scorpion if uh, you know you're looking to get something like this in a uh, nine millimeter compact package, and highly recommend the Micro K if you want the shorter version. So, um, you know, is there a does it shoot that much more handier than the the longer version? No, I don't think so. But it does save a little bit of weight, and um, it is a little more compact. And I didn't notice any difference with accuracy. Um, or functionality or anything like that. So, um, anyways, uh, any questions, uh, you know, put those down below. And, um, you know, any uh, thoughts for uh, future upgrades, maybe for the CZ Scorpion or something you'd like to, you have questions about with it. Um, I've had this one for quite a while now um, and uh, have shot quite a bit around through it. So, um, nothing but you know, great things to say about it. So, but, uh, yeah. So thanks for, uh, 
watching and uh you know if you like what you see uh definitely hit that subscribe button and uh hit the thumbs up all that good stuff and um you know that's it for now and i will see y'all on the next video